Good morning and welcome back my little misfits. This is Maddie. Now in the interest of being full disclosure, um, something happened last week. I wasn't feeling good. That's why there were no recordings. But other than that, after the last recording, um, I pretty much squirreled badly to the point where I logged out of the game at about three o'clock in the morning on the horde night. Uh, so that caused me to initially start this game back up with no enemy spawn because quite frankly I did not have enough ammo to do a second horde so uh, I cut off the enemy spawning I waited till four o'clock um, the red sky for blood moon did not clear up so I had to go back out come back in turn on enemy spawns and turn off blood moon in order to avoid another horde. So that's me in the interest of complete and total transparency. I have also, as you can see down on my bottom bar, got my full kit back out. I'm going to eat these. I have been doing some smelting. Uh, those seven um, door knobs are smelting away nicely in the forge over here. I'll turn that off for now. I gotta get make more wood logs. As you can see, we've got 129 uh, forged iron here. We're still a little short for all of our particular um, iron age needs, for lack of a better term. So I think what I'm going to do before we head out west is uh, see if I can get enough iron to finish those up and fully put me. Uh, in the Iron Age, so I can quit carrying around, well, you know, 10 tons of stones. I don't need that. I don't like carrying too many things in my backpack. It tends to mess with stuff. I like to carry loot. Let's get a little more over here. Oh, okay, we did go up. So we're going to put, we need strength level 5 for that. Alright, so we're going to come over here to agility. We're going to put another point in agility because we have to start pumping up our combat skills. So that's another thing I have to do. That should be just enough to finish our forged iron needs. Wait, let me mark this. And I have already lost it. And this is why I have to mark shit. Um, are you here? I'll probably find you by running right into the hole I made. Because that would be my luck. Totally. And there's some coal. Okay, I park it here. If I park it here, just go, aha, this way. All right. that marked. We're going to do our 20 frames. While that's crafting, we're going to go back home. All right. Let's grab some extra wood. You know what? I think it's time we broke down the car in the garage. We could use the gas. All right. up here, dump some stuff off. Oops. Ah, crap. I forgot to lock my stuff. Alright, so let's do this. Um, come up here. We're going to do ammo, repair kits, lock picks. Wood, stone, pickaxe, shovel, and gasoline. That should be the only things that we need. Oh, and pain pill. Crap. Pain pill. Alright, ten for now. Um, let's see here. The rest of this, this has got to go in the forge. Alright, so we're going to do this. The recipes. Wooden logs. We're going to do 20 of those. Okay, so now we're going to come here. We're going to put... Oops, that's too much. Do that. Put this back. 
back in here that can smelt till we get back because we have wasted enough time. She says as she's now waiting on the uh, 20 logs to do their thing. So we're going to go and follow through with what could possibly be the worst decision of the entire series, which is uh, doing the fetch and clear in the desert. Uh, we're going to get shale, and then we're going to come back here and finish doing our iron tools to get ourselves out of the Stone Age. Um, let's see. Do I have any bow parts? I have four bow parts. Quite possibly. I can't, oh, I can do a compound bow, but I can only do a level two. Okay, so when we go up a level... I'm going to do the crossbow. I'm going to do the iron crossbow. Okay, I need six parts for that. I'm going to need more when I put another point in that. So, we're going to go for that right now. Uh, wooden bow. Uh, six parts. Yeah, everything takes six parts. Alright, well. We're going to keep our eye out for bow parts. But right now, we are going to go out west and, you know, practice bad decision making. Got my gun out. I'm gonna go out front here. Hop on the mini bike, and I will meet you at the objective. Well, this is not in the west, but it is a fetching clear, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we can avoid and kill stealthily, shall we? Is that a trash bag? That's a trash bag. Okay, that is not a zombie. That's a trash bag. Hmm. I think I've been in this house once before. Oh, hi. We have a skater boy. Down in two hits. Okay. Check our corners here. I guess there's a hole in the wall that goes to the living room. Okay, how about this? This is locked. Hmm. Whoever can sleep through somebody axing down a door is, like, sleeping. All right. <clears throat> that pun's too easy. I'm not going to finish that one. I'm sure by now you guys could probably guess what I was going to say. I will take my arrow back. I mean, I know I'm stealth. I am literally beating down a door. Oh, hello, biker boy. I'll take my arrow back, thank you. So, we had a hoodie, a biker boy, and two Darlene so far. Oh, a Timmy. I don't know what three guys and two girls were do. Oh, never mind. That's way too many bad ideas running through my head at this particular moment. Uh, come over here. This is the garage. Let me see if there's anything in the garage I need to um, shoot. Probably. This is the garage of the house in the other town that I went into that had the chili in the garage. See, I remember. And then the light over the door. The ominous light over the door. Which we will get to in a minute because we got to clear everything. So we got to get up there. Something tells me I've got to go through the basement to go up. i got to go down to go up, which makes no sense whatsoever. But eh. 
architect architects what are you going to do you got some that actually make sense and then some people that create POIs that have you going up to go down and then have you to go down to go up I'm just all twisted around right now okay here we go and we've got leather that we're going to come and get to in a minute we'll clear this when we get back right now I'm a little more interested in aha okay nothing in here clearing the place before I loot it which is usually what I do especially if there's a fetch involved because knowing my greedy little butt I will find everything that there is to possibly find and then have no room for the satchel because I know me that is how greedy I am I'll be picking up all this stuff and get mad at myself because I cannot get the satchel okay here we are sneaking down the stairs we sneak is there anybody asleep nope there's a chem station under the stairs I don't see a zombie under the stairs oh I see one at the bottom of the stairs and there was one at the bottom of the stairs okay I hear somebody else with the breathing I'm telling you, the way you guys breathe rivals my bronchi my bronchitic wheezing any day of the week. Oh, there's another Timmy. Jesus. It's a convention of the Timmies around here. Okay. The convention of the Timmies. What is that? The third Timmy we've killed in this house? Second skater boy. Let's see here. Own in. Yeah. Headshot. Oh, crawler. And now a crawler with no head. We're gonna sneak through here. Make sure there's nobody over here. Okay, nobody here. I know there's a radar. I don't like relying on the radar too much because sometimes the radar can be a little tricky. I will glance up at it every once in a while, but as far as going, oh, okay, nah, I'm good. Take garment bags and stuff in here. Coming into the bathroom. And there's, there's, this is just suspicious as hell. How are you going to have a ladder going to the attic in the bathroom? Nobody designs a house this way. You you don't go to the attic through the bathroom. That is just that's just all kinds of nope. I'm sorry. You don't do that. See, I don't trust that and that's why I don't trust that. Okay, it says I got to go down. Okay, let's see. Eh, we'll get to you in a minute. I gotta go back down. Of course, I gotta get this satchel that's on this floor. Satchel's on this floor. Okay. Now you're telling me the satchel is... Nope, okay. The satchel's on this floor. Okay. It's the zombie that's up. It's the satchel that's on this floor. Okay. And you're telling me it's on this floor, but not on this half of the house. Y'all be tripping. Okay. All right, let me let me do some finagling over here because if I have to take a shortcut to get to this thing, I will. All right, back to frames. That is not where I wanted it. There we go. All right, now, where did I miss this thing? 15.8, 9.6, 6.8, 6 6.7, over here on the other side of this wall. Okay. We shall now here too far go on the other side of this wall. 5.1, 4.4, 3.0, where I came in at? You have got to be kidding me. Nope, hang on. Behind this... Yep, where I came in at. 
All right. Still gonna loot after I've killed everybody. That's just the way I work. Okay, here we go. And back down we go. Nope, wrong way. <laughs> wrong way, doofus. Okay. I don't know why I crouched before I get on the ladder. It uncrouches you anyway. All right, here we go back. We're going through the hole. We're sneaking through the rafters. Let's see. Yeah, I know. I'm getting closer to the things that like to eat my brains. Thank you. See here? Timmy. Hush. Making too much noise. Well, so much for that. You try to be sneaky, somebody makes a noise, and that's all she wrote behind here. And here's the stash. Okay, let's see what we've got in the stash, and then we'll go around and do everything else. We have got three handgun parts. We've got four robotics parts, ammo, and an iron helmet that I'm going to scrap. We've got an ammo pile with, surprise, surprise, ammo. A medical kit with the first aid bandage and drain alcohol. Shamway foods. We've got three cans of sham and meat stew. Shotgun messiah. Four bow parts. That makes a total of eight that we have now. All right, now we're going to swap this out for this, and we're going to get some of these. Oh. And, okay, scrap chest armor. I can sell that. Let's tear down some of this stuff. Eh, knuckle wraps eh, and splits. Okay. Go ahead and eat the stew. Okay, that takes care of all the goodies in the attic. Boop. Now we're back down on the main floor. All right, where are we gonna start? Let's start. Um, okay, let's start where I came in at, which would be this way. Yep, in through this window. Okay, let's start here and work our way around. wanted that anyway. Power doors and bridges schematic. And a can of spaghetti. Or ravioli. Uh, lamb rations. Water. Okay, so far, not finding too many bad things in the kitchen. Okay, let me see over here. Okay, time to break stuff down. Okay, that's everything in the kitchen. 
I gotta go out to my mini bike and put some stuff in there. Sorry, bunny. Food is food. You're gonna stand there. You know, it's not my fault. You know, nobody told you to stand there and stare at me. Alright, let's go back inside. Ooh, I never... <laughs> didn't clean out my bike from last time, apparently. Oops, oh well. Okay, we are gonna break this car down when we get to here. Right now we're not to here. Okay, we just left the kitchen. We came out, we did the kitchen. Okay. Take that and scrap it. Alright, so I need to come in here. What's in the garment bag? More dyes. So a kit. this, scrap this, and scrap this, and that. Okay. Got everything scrapped. And we have that, which isn't worth anything, and another tin can. Okay. Whoop! Dang it. Two pairs of- boy, they want me to have glasses, don't they? They keep giving me every single pair of glasses. Under the sun. Okay. So far, I've got that. I've got what? We've got perception glasses, we've got fortitude glasses, and I'm wearing agility goggles. They has yet to give me uh, the lucky looter. Or the nerdy goggles. I think this is beginning to be a, some sort of conspiracy. You know, don't give the greedy little shit the nerdy goggles or the looty goggles. Oh well. I shall persevere. And yes, it didn't escape me that I found the first pair of pants in the game, and I just now realized I scrapped the fuck. So now I can't blame the grass on my ass against, uh, you know, on anybody but myself now. Eh, that's what I get for scrapping stuff without paying attention. Oh well. Let's see. Hop over here. Check this trash can. Okay, we've hit this whole level. Let's go out the garage now. Oop. Scrap. Alright. At least we can sell the glasses if we're not going to use them. Alright, you. What's in you? Wood. Okay. Alright. Okay. Lots of resources to gather. See what's in the cabinet this time. An empty jar. So he's still in the doghouse and sleeping in the garage. Got it. Okay. All right. Read Stefan's treasure map. Okay. Well, we're not going to read that just yet. Because with my luck, they're going to send me way on the other side of forever here. And I don't want to be way on the other side of forever. Okay. All right. Now we have another point in archery. We need... Exactly eight parts for our crossbow. Okay. This we can do. We also need 30 uh, iron. Okay. Okie dokie. We can do that. I don't need that. I already have a tier six. Ooh. Four more forged iron and military armor parts. One more trip and then we're gonna go in the basement. Let's see how much more we can put in this mini bike. Eh, a little bit more. 
All right, let's grab the cans, put the iron in there. Okay, anything else? Is there anything we absolutely do not need? Not that I can see. I usually wind up putting everything to use in the lighter. All right, let's go back in there. We're pretty much done with cardboard boxes. Let's go back in the basement because I saw a chem station in there, along with some more resources. All right, let's wrench down the chem station. Okay, that gave us 18 more forged iron, not bad. Get this cobblestone. Glue, I never say no to glue. And I know there's some more around here. Let's take a sweep. See if there's anything hiding anywhere. I know there's some cobblestone around here somewhere. And I'm not leaving without it. There we go. And the lantern. Okay. Now that we are done, we're going to go. And uh, I will see you. When I get to Trader Joel's. You know what? We're not going to Trader Joel's just yet. We're like really close to the desert. Let's see if we can find some shale real quick so we can actually get some gas crafting. That is definitely a resource that we can use. And it's not going to be wasted on anybody. Let's see if I can find a shell node relatively close to the border. Okay, we are in the land of bad decisions. Oh, fuck me. And as if on cue, stupid bird. Pajaro de mierda. Mind your own business, dumbass. Oh. While I'm here. Mofezas. Eh. Glad I got the damn chicken coops going. Alright, we need oil shale. That is not oil shale. Trying to stay close to the border, as you can see. And this is what I meant in the other episode when I said this is the craggiest and most uneven desert I have seen in this game. I mean, this is horrible. Okay. Alright. Are we finding any shale close to the border? No, we are not. Okay. Let's come over the hill here. What's a girl got to do to find it? Oh, there's one. Okay, we're going to put on our brake. We're going to hop off. We're going to grab our little pickaxe here. And we are going to first mark this on the map. Waypoint. And because we're going to come back to this many times. my little marker over here. We're going to head back home. So now I will see you when I get to Joel's. And here we are at Joel's. Let's see what kind of rewards need assistance. he's got for us. Nope. I don't need assistance. I'm good. Traveler, I will take your herbal antibiotics. I will do, let me see, one kilometer, two kilometers, berry supplies. Is that the same thing that you just sent me to? I have a task for you, friend. Yep. If you're interested. Okay, I'll find somebody else. Oh, 
Okay, I'll find somebody. You're so agreeable. Okay, uh... All right, let's clear zombies to the east. Who could use some Godspeed. So, house under construction. Ooh, a place we haven't been yet, and I can open trade rounds. So that's two things we can do tomorrow. All right. Let's see if we've got enough stuff to get us out of the Stone Age and get us some decent tools. Catch you at home. Okay, here we go. Up the stairs. Over here. Oh, wait a minute. I put the iron in the bike. Right. Okay, well, let's drop this stuff off. Go get another load. Yep. Which means we'll be home for the night. Take all that. Go inside. I know a lot of you are going to take a look at that little bit of shale that I got and say, well, you know, that's really not enough shale. But I think it's going to equate to around 5,000 units. It's only me. So I don't need too much. But I will be going back with better tools at a later date before I run low. I don't like running low. Oh, here we go. So. I'll probably go back there either on a night run or uh, during the in the morning wee hours of the morning as I like to say because I am going to have to do some mining tonight because it is time to start doing my night mining for lead and for buet stuff as I like to say And, um, so that's going to start happening. Turn on. Okay, let's see what we've got here. We can get some more casings going. Okay. Can't wait till we have bellows and stuff for everybody. All right, here we go. Little pieces over there. Yep, got to make some more bullet tips. Now I know I am generating a lot of heat in the map at this particular moment. I don't car. I have things I have to do. And I can pretty much handle screamers at this particular juncture. So, you know, I'm not too afraid. And we don't have any engines or batteries. Ammo mats go here. We are going to make a bow tonight, too, provided we have enough uh, forged iron. But we do have to upgrade our tools. That's the one thing. And get ourselves some repair kits. Because we are running... Uh, we don't have any more. Heh. Saying I'm running low would be a gross understatement of my situation. Uh, Alright, let's put the food over here. Alright, so we've got this. Glue this stuff over here. I know this is just absolutely riveting. Uh, first aid mats. I don't need any in here. Oh, wait a minute. Do that. First aid box. That's this one. I'm learning where these things go. Alright, here we go. Alright, we've got our ammo. Boop. Come up here. One, two. I know I've got some more stuff that is going to go in here. Tomorrow, I think the trader resets. I didn't check. I think it's on day 16. Um, I just fly by the seat of my pants when it comes to traders. I know some people tend to cringe at that particular phrase, but a trader is a trader is a trader. If I get to them before they do their stuff, then good. If I don't, well, I don't care. It's not going to be the end of my world the only time it's going to actually catch my fancy is if they have something that I want. And even then, it's only if I have the money to get it. Because relying on the traders for everything is a little foolish. Especially when you can craft so much stuff in the game. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, oil, oh, oil and shale. Alright, so now we're going to come over here to this chem station. 
And we are going to hit the gas can. We're going to do this. And we're going to mix. Okay, that should be enough for a while. The glue in here. Rotten flesh in here. Drink stuff in here. Um, the gunpowder should have gone in there. And that's the bell, my little misfits. Uh, I shall see you in the next episode. But before then, may your bellies be full. May you never thirst. And always keep a lookout for streamers. Bye!